Hi, I'm Paulo from Chupan Games. And we are here today to tell you about a, a little more about uh, Multiverse Designer. Today we will talk about how to best use these maps here. Okay. The first one is the Dungeons map, which is in fact a blank map. Let's start with this tools menu and this guy. The best way to work with this is to have a snap to grid. So you can expand this like this. Okay, let's imagine that this is a room. Let's keep this panel here and we use this guy. See, this gizmos here to create walls. You press Alt and you duplicate anything in Multiverse Designer. Okay. Doors, windows. It's a lot of doors, but I will choose this one here and again. And duplicate this. Uh, yeah. Now you notice you will notice that you have seamless teacher thick textures here. Okay. And you can put it wherever you wish. It will always be seamless. Now let's put another type of door. Yeah. These doors, they have properties. You can open and close them. You can change into a grate and so on. And this also can change it to a grate. Now I will show you selection. Let's Put something here. Okay. And duplicate this. Duplicate this. Okay. We have three objects. Okay. You may notice that one of them is blue and the other two is yellow. And when you click on an already selected object, it changes color. This is the center of rotation. Okay. You click this or this. It also rules a snap and other things. So it's it's important to to understand what object is selected. Let's put another object here. Okay. If you press H or G, it will rotate. If you want to rotate at nine degrees angle, you press Shift G or Shift H. Some objects which are intended to be snapped to grid have already built in fixed rotation. However, if you want to override this, you press Ctrl and you can rotate it. This is the opposite of this object. This object can, can be freely rotated, but if you want to override, you press Shift and you rotate this nine degrees. I always think that is very important to have proportion. So we included the Unreal Mannequin in the game to give you that. This is a way of telling, okay, how is the size of things? 
now you can see that this dude is huge it's not exactly a small building but without this guy here you don't know you have an idea but it it's not the same so i i always say put this guy into the scene and it will help you a lot let's continue Deleting things oh by the way multiverse designer has multiple levels of undo so if i press ctrl z you can move things there ctrl z you can move there shift ctrl z and hit this redo do an alt okay and you put this here let's this is another row okay now i need to to get this guy into i will make a corridor here Okay, now suppose that you are tired of nine nine angle walls. You just want to do something like okay, I'm gonna start something like this. Yeah. See that he snaps on the other object. Even if that object is not on the grid. Now, you may ask yourself how we can put a floor here to accommodate this strange shape. Now we have this guy which I call dio polygonal floor, which comes in handy. He starts this way and Well, I can drag this guy here, and I can. Okay. If you press Alt and drag here, he creates another point here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait. Here. And as you can see, these are three dimensional points. But I will get there in the future. So here. 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 And here. Now the polygonal floor is very versatile. you can for instance create walls and you can change the size of the walls make it a double wall just like this and you may asking why this guy is looking different from this one that's because this guy is using another environment. This is using basic architecture. And this guy is using this. So we will change this to basic architecture. And he will. Okay. We will talk about environments later. But just for you to know. After you do your dungeon. You can. Change several things here okay let's select everything and okay. 
and so on. But let's picture the basics. So, suppose that you want to put this door here. In the properties of the polygonal floor, you have this guy called filter. If you put numbers here, you will start uh, removing walls. So this is zero. The other one is one. This is two. This is this is two. This is three, and this is four. So I want to remove the four. So in order to put that door here. Please do not forget to save your work. Although we are confident that the software is reasonably safe, it is a beta version. Crashes should occur, so please save. Now let's find another uses for the polygonal flow. Um, Okay, let's put this here. Yeah. Now, the polygonal floor has three dimensional points. So I can put this on the next level. And you will notice that he snaps. At this level it is very interesting because you can then start a new level here here i'm snapping at 0 0.5 level and here i will snap at level one okay and if i put the grid here this is controls the grid now you can put floors there like this and you can start building the second level of the dungeon i will go back to the first level and it, it this guy now can have walls the walls but i don't want the, the walls to be in that i want the walls to be on the bottom and the bottom should use the max good see now it's a closed space it's a very simple way to build ramps and many other things now let's um, roam a little into our own dungeon, okay? Hi, I found a bug here. This door should be, this grate should be go until this point, but it seems to be in the middle of <laughs> nowhere, it's a bug. Is this kind of thing that uh, I, I want you to help us? It's, it's very difficult to, to track these small things. This is probably very easy to, to fix, but I didn't know it. I just I was just made making the, the tutorial and here's our bug. By the way, I already fixed that bug. So I told you it was simple. So let me show you how I usually check my dungeons. I click here and control corrector. So here, and I personally like first person, but some people are 
gives it to the third person. Good. Seems to be working well. Also, if you wish to delete one of these points, you can do it. You just click, hold the mouse button, press down. Now, there's others, other assets who can be used here, which is very useful. Okay, these are fixed walls. And there are several others here, but there's one with this guy, which is kind of a special. And it was one of the first I made about three or four years ago. I call it the spline wall. The spline wall can be stretched anywhere. And be, be. It's always seamless. No seam. And you can do several things with this guy. If you say that is direct. He is a kind of an S shape. If no, he is a curve here. And you can flip the end of it if you want to do some interesting things. You can snap here, change his position, change position, and so on. This it can be used in very interesting ways. It also can be stretched on both sides here and on the bottom and on the top. So sometimes you can use it to follow a ramp or something like this. Okay. Now, some objects like this one can use this tool. This tool is a very interesting tool, which can you alter shape and scale anything in any direction you want. Very useful here to make uh, platforms and so on. For instance, I can delete this and put this here. This tool can be used also on buildings. Most of the buildings have it. So very useful if you wish to distort something in a simple way. Or to put something on top of another. And you wish to adjust things oh, that's good well let's get this straight i am no artist 
I am a nerd. I'm a programmer. So I am sure there are people out there who will who have much better results than myself using my own software. But other than that, I think the results are pretty interesting. Okay. Next time I will we will look how to use the environments to change this floors and and walls and colors and so on. Thank you, people.